All right, for this video, we have a couple of different glitches that you could be using, and I really hope you guys use to their full advantage while they are still working as of today on the 28th of uh, January, the Sunday, 2024. So this actually is working at the moment. Um, so we have five glitches. Some are going to be very useful, especially the last one, the Jet Dragon, and the first one for a lot of you guys that are just starting out. So let's go ahead and get started. Firstly, we're going to go over to the Black Marketeer because the first two glitches are to do with him. So for this first one, you can use anything, but I highly, highly recommend using a sword because the sword will give you a lot of damage against him and saves you so much time. So put on a sword in your first or second slot of your character. From here, what you want to do is spam hit him and press the talk button, which should be F automatically. Spamming the hit button and spamming F will basically give you guys a hit and cancel the attacking phase of him and will basically just let you keep on hitting him all the way until you kill him. Now, why do you want to kill him? Well, he gives you three gold coins and a lot like 30 to 40 to 60,000 gold at a time. And yeah, you can do this and it takes about 10 seconds to kill him. And what you can do after that is basically just leave the game and go back into the lobby and he will respawn and you can keep doing this unlimitedly and you can keep killing him for gold coins and chest a keys um so this is actually a pretty good glitch i'll definitely be doing this for the money because i'm actually just trying to capture all the um all the uh the the, the pals in the game and he does sell quite rare ones as well ones that you actually have to fuse different animals together to get so he's very very useful which comes into my next glitch that i really hope you guys use now i'm not 100 sure if this is supposed to be working but you can capture the black marketeers and humans now why do you want to do this well you can capture the black marketeer by getting him to a low health by doing the original glitch then you can capture him and take him to your base okay Doing that will give you the Black Marketeer in your base. Now, he resets every day, or if you leave the lobby and go back into the lobby, he will reset his stash. And you can basically do this unlimitedly until you capture and buy every single pal in the entire game. And this works because killing him over and over again will give you a lot of gold coins. Doing that while in the base will basically shorten the time for him to be reset and for you to go into his contracts and uh, to buy the um, the pals that he's selling while killing him at the same time. So you're getting best of both worlds. You're getting unlimited pals and unlimited money and unlimited uh, gold chest keys. So pretty good, very, very useful. And uh, yeah, why not? For the next glitch, it's a very, very simple and quick one, so let's just get it out of the way. So, the grappling hook. It's very useful because you can move while being heavily overloaded. Now, I'm just going to put on a bunch of stuff. This is a, I literally cannot even move. Sometimes you can move a little bit. Uh, you're very slow, but this now, I cannot move and I can use the grappling hook to move. It's pretty useful. Can come in handy. I know it's come in handy many, many times for me in the base. Moving over to the next glitch. Now, this one is very, very useful, okay? You can instantly revive pals, but not only instantly revive them with a little bit of health, like the other one with the viewing pen, this one instantly revives them with max health, okay? It's very easy. Let's say, for example, like in the background gameplay that you have a dead pal. What you can do is put them in your party, and then you want to go into the party menu and drop the pal. They will be in a sphere in the map, okay? In front of you, on your feet, they will be in a sphere. Now what you want to do is go back to the pal box and put any random pal in the spot that the dead one was in. Now you should have a full party. From here, what you can do is pick up the pal that you just dropped by picking up the sphere. Now what you can do is put the pal that was dead originally back in your party and he will be fully revived with full health now this is a very very good glitch because before you had to revive them with one percent health you had to feed them if they weren't fed already to get health 
then you had to wait for them to get their max health to fully uh, utilize them. But this time, you don't need to do any of that. Just do this glitch and there'll be max health and they'll be ready to go. This actually came in very useful with the next glitch that I'm going to be showing you with the Jet Dragon because we're going to be instantly killing him. And sometimes your pals will die, especially at the end game bosses like the Frost Stallion, the Necromus, the Jet Dragon. And uh, these guys are very, very powerful. So on to the next one. For this glitch with the Jet Dragon, it's going to take a lot of time doing because one, you're going to need the the rocket launcher okay and i think you get that at like level 49 or 50 so it's the last thing you're gonna have if you want a jet dragon insta kill glitch that you can do early game check out the video that i just uploaded uh before this one because it's a insta kill jet dragon glitch as well but you don't need anything for it this one is just a lot easier so you need a rocket launcher and just one rocket but have as many rockets as you want what we're going to do is we're going to have a freezing pal with Chris Breath or Freeze Breath. I don't know what it's called. You'll see it on the screen right now. You need a pal with this ability, okay? Now what we're going to do is go over to the Jet Dragon. From here, you want to put down uh, the pal that can do that ability and wait for the Jet Dragon to freeze like this and then just fire a rocket in its face and he will go flying up into the sky and coming straight back down and instantly dying okay and then you can go ahead and pick up the loot that he does drop which is actually quite a lot now with the other glitch that i was telling you guys about that i just recently uploaded this doesn't only just insta kill him it does insta kill him as well but the other one can also get him to about 300 200 health and that way you can also capture the jet dragon not only kill him so that one is very helpful just in case you do want to capture him early to mid game or even late game not only just kill him if you do not have him already so it's very very useful and a very good glitch actually um that will probably be getting nerfed very soon because the jet dragon right now is insanely buggy okay that's why there's so many glitches i've been uploading with him he's just a very glitchy pal but other than that pretty i mean he's very good he's like one of the best most useful pals in this entire game so that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully these glitches do come in handy uh whenever you do need them and i'll see you all very soon